OpenAI's GPT-5 isn't just an upgrade, it's a full-scale transformation of how AI thinks, reasons, and interacts. One of the most anticipated features is its shift toward unified intelligence. Unlike GPT-4, which relies on separate tools for different tasks, Code, Math, Browsing, GPT-5 is expected to perform all of these natively. That means no switching between plugins or APIs, just a single model capable of handling language, reasoning, coding, and vision with one consistent brain. Inside sources suggest that GPT-5 will feature significant improvements in chain of thought prompting, allowing it to break down complex problems step by step and retain that reasoning across conversations. This persistent, logical flow is something GPT-4 often struggled with, especially on multi-step tasks or when jumping between ideas. Beyond reasoning, GPT-5 will likely feature enhanced tool use, acting more like an AI agent than a chatbot. It won't just respond, it will proactively decide what tool to use, when, and how, with far less human intervention. In short, GPT-5 is being built to think more like a person, but with the precision of a machine. If successful, it will make everything from coding to creative writing faster, smarter, and far more intuitive. What truly sets GPT-5 apart from its predecessors isn't just raw intelligence. It's the way it reasons through problems, step by step. OpenAI is building GPT-5 to excel at chain of thought reasoning, meaning the model won't just guess at an answer, it'll show its work. It will be able to analyze complex queries, break them down logically, and solve them using multiple reasoning steps, much like a human would. This is one of the most critical benchmarks for moving toward artificial general intelligence, AGI. In previous models like GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo, accuracy was impressive but inconsistent, especially when solving multi-part problems or navigating ambiguous questions. GPT-5 is expected to dramatically improve this by maintaining state across steps, applying logic more fluidly, and learning how to self-correct. Another major leap is GPT-5's expected ability to behave like a true AI agent. Rather than simply responding to prompts, it can choose what to do next. This includes tool use, web browsing, code execution, and task planning, all without needing human direction at each step. OpenAI is aiming to give GPT-5 the autonomy to decide when and how to act, opening the door to more proactive applications like AI assistants that operate independently in business workflows or personal productivity. With all of this packed into a single unified system, GPT-5 could mark the transition from static prompt response models to interactive intelligent systems that can plan, reason, and execute like a collaborative human partner. Combined with multimodal input capabilities, this evolution may not just redefine AI, it could redefine how we use the internet, software, and even knowledge itself. One of the most revolutionary aspects of GPT-5 is its anticipated multimodal capability. The ability to process and reason across text, images, audio, and video simultaneously. This is more than a technical milestone. It's a major leap toward making AI truly integrated into how humans interact with the world. Instead of relying solely on typed prompts, users will be able to engage with GPT-5 through voice, visuals, and potentially even environmental context, allowing for a natural seamless exchange with the model. Imagine holding your phone up to a broken appliance and asking GPT-5 what's wrong. It can analyze the image, listen to the machine's sounds, and guide you through troubleshooting. Not from a script, but using real-world contextual understanding? Need help summarizing a video lecture or breaking down a visual math problem? GPT-5 is expected to do it all. No plugins, no switching models. This functionality will likely be supported through OpenAI's expanding product suite, including ChatGPT, Whisper, DAL-E, and possibly even through integrations with Microsoft's Copilot ecosystem. With GPT-5 acting as the core intelligence, OpenAI is poised to offer a platform where language, visuals, audio, and action merge. A fully fused digital assistant that works wherever you are, however you choose to interact. Another area where GPT-5 is expected to dominate 
is long-term memory and personalization. Current models like GPT-4 Turbo have started saving memory between chats. GPT-5 is expected to expand this drastically, allowing it to remember user preferences, ongoing projects, past mistakes, and conversation context. This means true continuity between sessions, creating the kind of assistant that gets smarter the more you use it. You won't need to re-explain your goals or style. It will know you, and that's where things get powerful. But with this power comes massive responsibility. As GPT-5 becomes more autonomous, multimodal, and personalized, ethical questions arise. How should data be stored? What safeguards must be in place? Can we trust an AI that remembers everything and acts on its own? OpenAI has acknowledged these concerns, reportedly incorporating new safety layers to keep GPT-5 from drifting too far off course. That includes model alignment, filtered tool use, and stronger transparency protocols, all designed to keep GPT-5 helpful, honest, and under human control. Still, the implications are enormous. GPT-5 has the potential to shift AI from being a powerful tool to becoming a true co-pilot in life, one that listens, sees, remembers, and acts. Whether it's assisting doctors with diagnostics, helping students learn complex topics, automating creative production, or supporting enterprise operations, this model may become the default interface for everything digital. And if GPT-5 delivers on even half of what's been teased, we're not just getting a smarter chatbot. We're witnessing the dawn of mainstream general intelligence. As we move closer to the official release of GPT-5, one thing becomes clear. This isn't just an upgrade. It's a fundamental shift in how humans and machines interact. OpenAI isn't building a better chatbot. They're building something that can reason, remember, plan, and understand the world in ways we once thought were decades away. From chain of thought logic to full multimodal integration, text, audio, images, and video, GPT-5 promises to bring us closer than ever to true artificial general intelligence, AGI. This model won't just answer questions. It will ask the right ones. It won't just help you write. It will know your style, track your progress, and suggest smarter, more tailored solutions. Whether you're building software, composing music, learning a language, or running a business, GPT-5 is designed to act less like a tool and more like a thinking collaborator. But with that power comes a responsibility we've never faced before. When an A, I can understand you across multiple dimensions, remember what you've said, and make decisions for you, who's really in control? That's the question we all need to start asking. OpenAI is clearly taking alignment and safety seriously, but the pace of change is fast and the risks are real. The next challenge isn't just building smarter models. It's building ones that align with our values. Whether GPT-5 is a stepping stone toward full AGI or just the most advanced model we've seen so far, one thing is certain. This changes everything. We're not looking at the future of AI anymore. We're living in it. So now it's your turn. Do you think GPT-5 will be the breakthrough that changes the game? Or are we still chasing the idea of general intelligence? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'll be reading everyone. And if you want more breakdowns like this, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Because the AI revolution isn't coming someday. It's already here.